we're back with another video. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and we are the Mermaid Gang. This is where you can come and suspend your disbelief. Uh, Salem is in here and she's currently playing and climbing on everything she can climb on. Yeah, so we're just going to ignore that. I am a manifestation coach, so if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever is between you and your manifestation, go ahead and sign up on my website listed below. Also, if you would like to work with my mom, let me explain the difference with my mom. My mom is more like Neville. If you lean more towards strict Neville, then definitely my mom is the person for you. If you lean more towards like money and success and stuff like that, definitely Netta. Um, Flossie is extremely thorough. Andrea uh, speaks English and Spanish, so if you need Spanish coaching, she's your girl. Um, and then we have Nikki, who is uh, she does all the evaluations so she can help you understand what is your best way of going about manifesting each of my coaches has a different gift so you kind of just should go on the mermaid manifestation courses it's something like that it's the one right under mine in my description box click on there and go read for each coach and see which one best suits you also, starting July 1st, the VIP is going to be a little different. Um, it is now going to be that you are getting six to eight hours of lives, live coaching every single week. Um, each of us goes live every week, either to go together. I always go live by myself and just hang out with the VIP members and we all answer your questions. There will still um, be a monthly challenge every single month and you can ask in each live about whatever help you need with the challenge or you can just ask us about, you know, your manifestation questions for your subjects, whatever. You get direct live coaching six to eight hours a week for $45 a month. It's been a minute, you know I have to update you and tell you what's been going on. Like I said, July 1st is when the change happens with the VIP and then um, we have new courses that have been put on the site. Self-concept, SP, money, all of that. Sorry I've been gone for a minute because I needed to, we have, you know we're in truck season so we had a truck show weekend, we were gone for four days and then I had excessive emails in one day so I've been trying to work on getting caught up on email. So if you are one of my clients and you're like, hey, you're a couple days past your, you know, time limit. I know. Trust me, I didn't miss your email. I'm going to respond to you um, as long as you emailed the correct email, which is Sammy Ingram Coaching at Yahoo.com. That is for my paid clients. If you have paid and signed the contract, that is where you should have sent your message, not to the sammy ingram mg that is just my business email okay sometimes i check it and i see y'all be thinking i missed you but it's like that's not the correct email that's not the email that's listed all right now actually one of my clients inspired this video um i was asked about divine timing and although i know i've spoken on this before I think it's one time for me to speak on it again and two I want to elaborate more um, with the knowledge that I have today so the question basically was about divine timing um, is there divine timing and she was basically she was like I can't keep waiting like I can't keep waiting on divine timing like Divine timing is bullshit. There's no such thing as divine timing. The timing is solely based on you. There is absolutely no outside source deciding when you are worthy of receiving the thing that you desire. The only thing keeping you from having the thing you desire 
is you not thinking like you already have it. The one way there is to manifest, the only way to manifest is to think as if you already have what you want. The only way to manifest is to repeat the same thought, persist in the same thought over and over again until it becomes true. Because that is how you have gotten everything that you have now, even the things you don't want. It's because you d were dwelling on it for a while or thinking about it for a while. The only way to manifest, I want to be very clear because apparently there's all these secret techniques. There is no secret to manifestation. There is no miracle technique. There is no secret. Think as if you already have what you want or think as if it's happening. The way we have always manifested, even before we were aware, was by thinking about the same thing over and over again. This is why I have to always remind people that your affirmations are not a technique. We're not doing techniques. We're not doing, we're not doing a technique because that technique is the key or the thing because that technique gets a result. It's not, I mean, it does get a result, but I'm gonna tell you why. It's not because it's a technique. It's because your affirmation is your new thought about this subject. So if you desire money, but you have no money, then instead of thinking, I have no money, you start thinking your affirmation, which is I have so much money, I have so much money and you persist and persist and persist and persist and persist in that thought I have so much money I have so much money and then that thought is going to become true instead of the other thought because you thought for so long that you didn't have any money or you assume money was hard to have or hard to get or that you had to work really fucking hard for it and so that was your reality so now you're changing your thought your affirmation is the new thought it's the thing that we can easily jump to to change our thought we decide what do I want? I'm used to experiencing having no money. I want money. So what do I do? I'm going to change my thought to I always have money. Because when I persisted in the other thing, that was the reality I had. No money. So now I'm going to persist in the new thought about money. I have tons of money. I always have so much money. I have so much money. I'm so rich. I've always been so rich. I have so much money. Those are your new thoughts about the desire. When you change your thoughts, then a new situation, then it changes. The, the reality, the 3D, that's when it changes. It's not because some divine being was like, oh, you know what? I think you're finally worthy. You're finally worthy. No. Nobody decides if you're worthy or not except for you. Nobody. The only reason you don't have what you want is because you're not persisting in the thought that you already have it or that it's about to happen. That is the only reason. And that is another thing I want to speak on. So many people are like, I do my affirmation 75 times a day. What are you thinking in between that? What are you thinking when the thought actually occurs to you? Okay, let's say I'm on a, I have a whole ritual, right? Like I affirm at 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, okay? I, those are my affirmation schedules. But in between, my mom was like, so how's your money situation? It sucks, I have no money, I'm so sick of being broke. There's your problem right there. There it is. Or you're doing the dish and you're like, damn, I'm worried about my bank account. I don't have any money. There's your issue. When the thought occurs, that's when you're supposed to change it. You're supposed to change what you normally think about it. When you naturally think of whatever it is that you're trying to change, that's when you need to be affirming because that is your natural thought process. So, same for a person. If you're manifesting a person, that's a hot topic. Same for a person. Instead of thinking about how they never fucking talk to you or how they don't care about talking to you, instead, when you think of that person, you're gonna think, they love talking to me. I don't care if they just sent you a text and said, I hate fucking talking to you. I hate talking to you. You're gonna say, oh my God, they love talking to me. He loves talking to me, he's so obsessed with me. And if you don't like the word obsessed, oh, 
he loves talking to me like I'm his favorite person no matter what they say no matter what because the whole point is you're changing your thoughts on the subject in the moment that you're thinking of it anytime you think of your desire you need to think your new thought because every time before when you were thinking of that desire you were thinking of it in the way that you don't like in the way that you don't enjoy which is why it kept being that way so now if you will change the thought when you think of it it's going to show up the new way especially with a person a person can only be who you think they are they literally cannot be what you think what you don't think they are so if someone if you need for if you want for them to love talking to you for you to be their favorite person for them to want commitment with you then you have to stop thinking that they're a fuck boy that they ghost you that they don't care about you that they don't make you a priority you got to cut those thoughts those, those got to go in the trash delete now new thoughts he loves talking to me he's always making me a priority he's ready for commitment with me he's ready to commit to me right now he's ready he's ready he's more than ready to commit to me I'm who he wants. He loves talking to me. He always makes time for me. You have to change the thoughts when you think of them because if you're affirming and affirming and affirming outside of that, but then when you actually think of the person or the money or whatever the desire is and you have the same thoughts and you haven't actually changed your thoughts. So the situation cannot change. The person cannot change because everything is whatever you think it is. That's why we're going to do a whole self-concept video and I'm going to explain to you why even though you're doing really good self-concept and you feel great about yourself, it still doesn't, it doesn't mean it's going to impact the person that you're manifesting because you still have a whole other assumption about them. You have different assumptions about everything in your life, about yourself, about how lucky you are when it comes to different subjects. Um, you might have a really good money mindset and you might think you're the baddest bitch, but also you think I always attract fuckboys. So then guess what? The person you're attracted to is going to be a fuckboy. Even if you change your self concept, you still have an assumption about you with relationships or you still have a, an assumption about that person in particular. You still have to work on individual subjects depending on what you're manifesting. It's not all just self concept is going to create everything. That's not how it works. You still have different assumptions about everything in your life. So let's stop assuming that there is some outer being, some universe telling us when we can have something. When you change your thoughts consistently and you persist in it, and I mean persist in it. I don't mean like, hey, it's been three weeks, it's not working. Yeah, that's why. That's why. Because you set an ultimatum and so it's not going to work. You persist until that shit shows up. There's never a time when you're supposed to quit. You don't know how much resistance you have to that subject. Keep persisting. Keep changing your thoughts every time you think of the desire. And it will show up. There is no divine timing. No one. No universe. The universe has nothing to do with manifestation. I hate to tell you. Like I hate to break your little law of attraction hearts. The universe has nothing to do with manifesting. The universe is spectacular. I believe in astrology, I believe in all that fun shit, but do I believe that it determines whether I have what I want? No, my thoughts do that. Only my thoughts decide my reality. Only my thoughts can change my reality. Nothing else has a say so in what I can or cannot have. Nothing. Nothing else. The universe has no say so in when you are worthy of having something or not, unless you assume it does. So stop assuming that. There is no such thing as divine timing. The second you decide, this is what it is, and no matter what I see, this is what it is, if you will persist in that, it is going to change. You are not waiting around on something to decide you are worthy. You and your thoughts are the only thing that decides what you can and cannot have. No one gets to set a time for you. No one can do anything to you without your permission. No one is granting you any wishes or desires that the same thing for this or something better. No, your thoughts control exactly what you get and if persisted in, 
when you get them. There's nothing outside of you that is greater than you deciding if you're worthy or not and if you've been through enough trials and tribulations or not. We need to get all of that limiting thinking out of our minds. That shit sucks. And I know a lot of us have been conditioned, even logically growing up, to believe that you have to work really hard or struggle or go through hell before you get something good. But we need to go ahead and eliminate that shit because it's just not true. It's just thoughts. Everything is your thoughts. If you decide today, I am so good at manifesting. I am so good at manifesting. I manifest everything I want so easily, so quickly. I'm just really good at manifesting. I'm really good. I'm the fastest manifester. I get the most wonderful things. I get exactly what I desire every time. Then that's gonna become true because your thoughts become true. A thought persisted in, which is why we repeat our affirmations, becomes true. So, if you don't want it to become true, you shouldn't be thinking it. If you want it to become true, you should be thinking it consistently every time the desire, the thought about the desire comes up. Again, if you're manifesting money and you think about money, guess what? Your new thoughts are, I have so much money. I've always had so much money. Money is so easy for me to manifest. Same for a person. They love me so much. I'm their favorite person. They love talking to me. I'm their number one priority. They're ready for commitment. They want to commit to me. They're ready to commit to me right now. They are ready. You just change your thoughts on it when you're thinking of it. Because those are the thoughts that created the situation you didn't want in the first place. The way you think of something. So change the way you think of the thing you desire. That's it. Just change the way you think of the thing you desire. That is it. Persist in that and you got it. Nothing can stop you. Nothing, nobody, nothing, nothing. Literally nothing, I promise, nothing, nothing. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.